All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim or Kakodash, Dwari Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, for allowing me doing this video through her spirit, Dwari Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, for giving us his truth as worms, double honor to our apostles and others at Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the whole elect. This is just a quick video on the prophets said it first, and all y'all niggas late. <laughs> and y'all really are late. Y'all really late to the party, because the prophets... I'm speaking about these big tall dudes, the Charleston Whites, you know, different things like that. You know, they have their platforms and they they have their lot. Their lot is to get rich off of telling you things that the prophets have already been said. But none, nonetheless, it's not it's not neither here nor there. But what is here is the prophets had it first. And it's one thing that makes the prophets different from y'all. Is that the prophets for one had it first and they have the prophecy that's what makes the prophet stand out more than more than any of y'all because we have prophecy Lord willing we be those men we have prophecy we can say things through we can we say the things of Yahweh Shai before they happen and and we're seeing the result the, the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, prophesied all of these things that are happening in the world to already happen. And you know who the, who has declared that? The prophets of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai. So the prophets have always had it first. They've all, they've always, they, they, they've said it first and they've got it first through the, through the source. And who's the source? Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai. They're the source. They've given the prophets the understanding to understand the prophecies of the things that will happen in the last days. And that's what y'all are missing. Y'all can say this and that about the woman because you have a lot of people who use the Bible now to, to condemn the woman or get on the woman's ass for the way they act, which is true, which is which is somewhat good. But what what are y'all missing? Y'all y'all don't realize that that is leading to the destruction of this kingdom. Y'all don't realize America is going to be destroyed very soon. And that's one major piece. Because a lot of these niggas, that, these MGTOW niggas or whatever, a lot of them going to take the chip. They're going to be destroyed. They're not prophets. The things they say, yeah, they're, 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 some of them are appointments. Some of them are fucking off as fuck. Some of them scoff the prophets. So a lot of them, a lot of them they're still going to die here in America. A lot of them are going to take the RFID chip. A lot of them are just, they're still in the side of the Heavenly Father. They're not they are not on the VIP list. They're not the elect. They're just dudes who the Lord put the spirit on to, to say things about, about the, the way this world is going. But you but you know what? Who certifies it? The prophets. The prophets say, well, see, it's written, it's written, it's, it's written right here. It's written right here that this is the reason it, it's happening. This is the reason it's going on. Because when you really look at these platforms and, and what these dudes are saying, well, what's what's the what solves all of this? Where where is the where is the conclusion? Because yeah, we know women aren't shit. You know some niggas ain't shit too, but we know the majority of you modern day women, you ain't shit, and and, and and you you all you do is sell your body for money, and, and you and you need to get under the order of a man of a man, and a lot of y'all don't so. And a lot of y'all don't want to. So where's the where's the conclusion? Where's the conclusion? Where do, how do we resolve this? How do we resolve this beef? And the Bible tells you how to how this is going to be resolved. How all of this, how this world, everything that's happening in the world, how it's going to be resolved. And it's going to be through the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shimei Al Shai correcting everything. And the one may ask how. And how how that correction is going to come? It's going to come through the it's going to come through the sword. That correction is going to come through the sword, bro. The heavenly Father is going to correct this planet through great death and destruction. Four four four. So I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna get that. This is a uh, Revelation six, uh, nineteen and verse uh, verse ten. And I fell at my feet to worship him. And what you speaking about the angel? He said unto me, "See thou, see thou, do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and and of thy brother that have the testimony of Yahushai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahushai is the spirit of prophecy. 
and that's what the prophets have they have prophecy and a lot of uh, these these guys in the world they don't have prophecy so what makes what what makes them not prophets and and a lot of them are going to die a lot of them are going to die a lot of them are not going to make it this is amos 3 and verse 7 surely the lord will do nothing but he reveals the secrets unto his unto the servants of prophets so the lord reveals his secrets unto his prophets unto his servants his children of israel specifically and then the elect of them and the one-third the so-called negroes latinos and native americans of this of this present world and then you know you have brothers that that look like other nations but their lineage and their descendants fall back unto that unto the children of israel so the prophets have the answers Y'all don't have the answers. Y'all don't know what is going to resolve all of this beef between men and women. What's going to resolve this credit? What's going to revolve the devil? What's going to resolve the devil? Continuing to create mischief and evil upon the planet Earth. Y'all don't have the answers, really. Y'all just, y'all just, y'all don't have the answers. To be honest, y'all don't have the answers. Y'all have some answers, but you don't have the full. You don't have, you don't have the full thing. Because the prophet's been said, the prophet's been said everything that now all these MGTOW guys, Charleston White, you know, fresh and fit, all that. Prophets have been said that. Prophets have been said, said, said all these things. Especially our apostles and elders and even before them. These things have been said first by the prophets. And the prophets have the true answers and the conclusion to, to it all. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, twelve and verse and verse uh, thirteen. Let us fear the conclusion of the whole matter, with, with the conclusion of of it all. Fear Yahweh and keep His commandments, for this is the duty of all men, and that and that goes for women also. Verse fourteen. For Yahweh shall be shall bring. Bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or or rather it be evil. So the Heavenly Father is going to resolve all of this. He's going to bring every work to the forefront, rather the men's works are good, rather they're evil. It's going to be brought to the judgment seat and, and it's going to be made known. All right, this 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 man right here, he, he's righteous. OK, this woman right here, she, she she's righteous. This this motherfucker right here is a wicked bastard. We gotta we gotta kill him. This motherfucker right here is this woman is is a adulterous whore. Get rid of her. The the listen. The heavenly Father is gonna sort through all of this, man. And it's and it's thus thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. The heavenly Father Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is gonna bring all of this to 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 not. Through 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 the through judgment, through Mashapatnyum. That's a Hebrew word for judgment. The Heavenly Father is gonna judge this world for his evil. And, and there's nobody that's gonna stop him, man. Huh? Nobody's gonna stop him. The Heavenly Father is gonna con conclude all of this. He's gonna be the one to have the victory. So the hey, the prophets have said it first and the prophets have the answer they have the answers to to all this madness going on in the planet earth because it was all prophesied beforehand to happen it's all prophecy it's all prophecy everything that is going on on the planet earth now is prophecy it was all meant to happen women acting like whores sluts whatever it's prophecy this money being devalued is prophecy it's already been written it's already been been written. These niggas, fuck these niggas. The prophet has been said, fuck these niggas, let them die. That's the way Charles and White. Charles and White got famous from saying, let these niggas die. The prophet has been said, let these niggas niggas die. Let them all die in vain. The scriptures even say that they were born in vain. These these so a lot of these motherfuckers are worthless, worthless pieces of shit. And the heavenly Father is going to reward His service, man. That's been that's been out here laboring. That have been saying these things throughout the planet Earth for the last up to forty years, starting from our apostles and elders on down. The 
to get this and close off. This is a uh, and and a lot of y'all and hey, the Lord's gonna reward y'all with death because y'all not y'all not His servants. Y'all really not of Him. And and maybe some of them look. Maybe some of them do come to the truth and find out. And they change up their platform, and you know, maybe that does happen. But as it stands, they're not about to do that. They're making too much money. They're making way too much money to switch up their whole platform and, and preach your how about shit, how shy, and tell motherfuckers not to get the RFID chip. Uh, uh, the the Lord's a dark skin man. You people are gonna you people are gonna pay for your wicked deeds. They're not. They're making too much bread, bro. They're making too much money. They're not gonna do that. I mean, hey, the Lord could put the spirit on them, but this just, just speaking as a man. That's just speaking as a man. But the Lord, they have their lot and the prophets have their lot. They have their reward and the prophets have their reward. The reward of them, they get they get the goodies of this world. The pro, pro, the prophets' reward is a, is a, the goodies of the world to come in eternity. That's their prize, man. Victory over this beast. Over this system, because they haven't. They look. We're hoping to attain victory over this beast system through Yahweh Shai. They don't. They're not going to attain victory over this beast. They're going to fall. This is Revelations eleven and verse eighteen. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that that the that. That they should be judged, that thou should give reward unto the servants of prophets, and to thy saints, and to the saints, and 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 them that fear thy name, small and great, and should it destroy, and should it destroy them which destroy the earth. So the heavenly Father is gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna send out his reward to his men that have been laboring. That's been saying it. That's been speaking through his spirit. They're going to get that reward. And that reward is going to be immort immortality. Nothing nothing of this world's good can give you that. The prophets are, are, are in it for, for in it to win it. <laughs> Y'all not in it to win it. Y'all in it for that, that temporary prize, that money. The prophets are in it to win it to the end. To the, to the very end. And that and that's our that's that's what we strive after. That's what we seek after. To win. To win over the beast. So that was it. Oh well, this lesson was edifying. Wanna give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Shai, Bashimar Kakurash, and with that, Shalom.